Welcome to the fantasy audiobook, Ninja World, Against the Sky Comprehension, Created Yin Dun Sage Art. Chapter 81 Seeing Feng Hua Xiaoshui's puzzled look, Yi Xing pointed to the remaining few pieces of glass. The Snow Country is not a country of ninjas, and its strength is not too strong. In the past, the geographical environment was harsh, easy to defend and difficult to attack, so there were no enemies. Now that the climate here has changed, it has become a fairyland on Earth. The surrounding countries will definitely covet the land of the Snow Country, and even launch wars for it. Have you thought about how to deal with it? Facing Yi Xing's repeated inquiries, Feng Hua Xiaoshui was stunned, not knowing how to answer. As the other party said, the Snow Country was able to settle down in a corner before because the geographical environment was harsh and unsuitable for people to live in. The arrival of spring now not only means that the lives of the citizens have become better, but also brings potential wars. Those warriors and the chakra armor alone are no match for the enemy. Seeing Feng Hua Xiaoshui's thoughtful look, Yi Xing said slowly. For that, I have a solution. Any solution. You can manufacture chakra armor and send it to the land of fire. In exchange, Konoha Village will provide you with a scientific ninja tool. In times of crisis, ninjas will also be sent to support you. How about it? After Feng Hua Xiaoshui finished listening, she asked curiously. Do all the ninjas in Konoha have your strength? Yi Xing rolled his eyes, speechless. How is that possible? But don't worry, we must support elite Jonin, that is, ninjas of Kakashi's level. Mr. Kakashi. Feng Hua Xiaoshui didn't hesitate for long, then nodded slightly. I promise, but on one condition. What conditions? She walked up to Yi Xing, showing a sly smile. You're going to have a cameo in my movie. No problem. Seeing that Yi Xing agreed, Feng Hua Xiaoshui clapped her hands happily. Although I have become the monarch of Snow Country now, except for Fuka Koyuki, I don't intend to give up my identity as Fuji Fuyuki. Well, reasonable. After nearly half a month of playing in the Snow Country, several people from Konoha Village bid farewell to Feng Hua Xiaoshui. Until they all boarded the boat back to the village, Ino still had a look of unsatisfied, leaning on his chin and talking. It's really fun to act in a movie. Nara Shirju and Akamichi Choji looked at each other with speechless expressions. The vice presidents of Yixing and Ino, both of whom also mixed in two roles in the final chapter of the Fungian Princess series. Even the script has undergone major changes, almost repeating the mission process this time. Of course, there are some twists and turns. Otherwise, if the role played by Yi Xing is promoted all the way, what sense of crisis is there? After returning to Konoha Village, the three members of Class 10 were a little tired, so they went back to rest first. As the nominal main force of this mission, Kakashi, who actually got along all the way, took the initiative to undertake the work of reporting to Nara Shirju. Yi Xing came directly to the laboratory in the Anbu building, ready to start the research and development of Sharingan. As soon as he opened the door, he heard a cold voice that seemed to be a smile but not a smile, coming from the darkness. Mr. Yi Sheng, I didn't expect that you would take the initiative to ask me to meet. A pair of golden vertical pupils shone in the darkness. Orochimaru, how did you sneak into Konoha village? Yi Sheng sat behind the table and asked calmly. Orochimaru came out from the darkness, looked at him playfully, and said softly. Although I am not like you, the sealing technique of the Grandmaster Vortex family can sneak into the underground stronghold of the Root Organization, but it is still possible to avoid the enchantment that is set up. Yi Xing was not surprised at all when he heard Orochimaru tell about his sneaking into the Root Organization. Flying Thunder God, the big spiral wheel, can break the sealing technique of the Vortex clan. In addition, he has not concealed his ability now, if Orochimaru can't guess it again, he will really be sorry for the title of the number one scientist in the ninja world. Tell me, what's the matter with asking me to meet? Shouldn't it be to kill me? Even though the difference in strength between the two was obvious, Orochimaru did not show any fear, but a relaxed and calm look on his face. Even if he is killed by Yi Xing here, he can still complete the resurrection through the curse imprint lodged on other people's bodies. Alternative characters include the five members of Yinan Village, Mitarashi Anko and so on. As long as these people are alive, the serpent is immortal. Then I'll make it clear. Yi Xing looked directly into Orochimaru's eyes, and said slowly. 
I hope you can join me in solving the mystery of Sharingan. Hearing the word Sharingan, Orochimaru frowned and smiled calmly. With your scientific talent, do you still need my help? I can't talk about help. It's just that you have so many years of experience in human experiments, after all, I didn't catch up with the good times, and there was no Danzo to send the experimental products. Hearing Yi Zing's sarcasm, Orochimaru's eyes flickered, and he asked curiously. Then what can you offer me? Your living corpse reincarnation, just escaping death, does not really solve the mystery between life and death. This sentence can be said to have touched Orochimaru's heart. According to his original idea, just developing the secret technique of immortality is far from meeting the expectations in his heart. What Orochimaru really wanted was to have life and death at his fingertips. In other words, even people who have already died can return to this world, not half dead like impure world reincarnation, but truly alive, who have mastered the mysteries of life and death. Just trying to do this, how difficult is it? Orochimaru spent nearly his entire life, but failed to achieve it. He could only use the method of living corpse reincarnation to prolong his life and gain more time. Do you know the mystery between life and death? Facing Orochimaru's inquiry, Yi Xing shook his head and said, I don't know, but there is a technique that can really bring the dead back to life in this world. What? Orochimaru asked subconsciously, seeing Yi Xing's eyes that seemed to be smiling but not smiling, and then realized belatedly that he had made a mistake. The most important thing in the negotiation between the two parties is to cover their cards. Orochimaru's performance just now is equivalent to telling Yi Xing how much he longs for that kind of technique. Tell me information about that technique, and I will help you develop Sharingan. Hearing what Orochimaru said, Yi Xing did not hesitate, and directly told the other party about Rinne Tensai technique. Orochimaru is indifferent, ruthless, cruel, and has many shortcomings, except for lying, which he has never done. He promised to teach Sasuke, even if it was a tiger, he still taught him. It can be seen that Orochimaru is a person who keeps his promises and is very honest. It turned out to be like this. Orochimaru had once witnessed the pair of Rinnegans of Pain, the leader of the Akatsuki organization. Unexpectedly, there is such a magical effect. As expected of the eyes of the Sage of Six Paths, even life and death can be manipulated. I see, I will keep my promise and help you research Sharingan. Hearing Orochimaru's answer, Yi Xing nodded in satisfaction, took out two glass jars containing Mangekyo Sharingan from his arms, and said softly. In that case, let's get started. Three days later. After Orochimaru's experimental experience and Yi Xing's heaven-defying understanding, he finally cracked the mystery of the Uchiha family and the Sharingan. By consuming a pair of powerful Mangekyo, you can create a potion that allows people who don't have the blood of the Uchiha family to open the Sharingan. At this time, Yi Xing held a bottle of potion made by Uchiha Shisui Mangekyo in Yi Xing's hand. It's finally started, he muttered something to himself, and injected the medicine into his body without hesitation. Now Yi Xing has mastered many powerful ninjutsu, as well as powerful self-created moves such as Yindan Sage Art, Tianlei, Big Spiral Lunyu, and Emperor Engine. However, after all, it still stayed at the peak of cage level, and failed to enter the threshold of Chaoying. If it weren't for the obvious weakness of Nagato's body, it would have really opened up the pair with pen six paths. He may not win, but as long as the Mangekyo Sharingan is awakened, this situation will improve. The moment the medicine was injected, Yi Xing could feel his own eyes, and there was a strange feeling. In the black pupils, the pattern of single hook jade emerged. Immediately after that, there are double hook jade and triple hook jade. It took less than five seconds for the process from opening the Sharingan to evolving the three gobs jade. In the history of the Uchiha family, there is no such terrifying speed. Backquote, when you reach Sangoyu, do you stop? Yi Xing knew that if he wanted to activate Mangekyo, he had to go through a strong mental stimulation. But as a time traveler, he knew that this was just an appearance. In fact, the condition for opening Mangekyo is a powerful yin attribute chakra impact, which is the so-called spiritual stimulation in an easy-to-understand way. Yi Xing controlled the yin chakra in the body, and began to attack the connection between the optic nerve and the brain. Even if he failed, he was not worried. Even if the eyes are blind, you just need to change a pair. After all, 
there is a world of chakra, and there is no such thing as permanent blindness. As Yi Xing expected, under the stimulation of strong mental power, the three-pointed jade in his eyes turned into a Mangekio pattern like a pentagram. It worked. At the same time as opening Mangekio, the names and effects of the left and right eye pupil techniques were automatically transferred to Yi Xing's mind minister. The pupil technique of his left eye is called Tianyu Shoujiaoming, which belongs to the illusion type. But Tianyu's life is not to deceive others, but to deceive himself. As long as he uses this pupil technique, he can reproduce the Mangekio pupil technique he has encountered. The effect of Tianyu's hard work can be described as a pervert level service. With this pupil technique, Yi Xing is equivalent to mastering a series of moves such as Hollow, Distinguished Heavenly Gods, Amaterasu, Sukuyomi, etc. And the ability of his right eye, called the Stone House of Heaven, has the effect of creating a barrier in a different space. People in this enchantment, unless Yi Xing dies, or cancels the effect of pupil removal technique, otherwise there is absolutely no way to escape, even the space-time ninjutsu-like flying thunder god will not work inside. Of course, there is the most important ability. Suzano. Because Yi Xing has been implanted with a large number of first-generation cells, there is no need to worry about the problem of vision loss caused by excessive use of Mangekio. It's just that ordinary Mangekio, in terms of pupil power, is after all inferior to eternal Mangekio. It's much better to never be blind, fix than not to be blind easily. While Yi Xing was thinking about it, Nara Luju pushed open the door of the laboratory and walked in. I have two things to discuss with you. Yi Xing turned his head away, the Mangekio pattern in his eyes had disappeared, and turned back to ordinary black pupils. What's wrong? The first thing, as you said last time, is to cooperate with Snow Country. I submitted an application to the daimyo, but he rejected it. Big name. When Yi Xing heard this name, a cold killing intent flashed in his eyes. If you don't agree, kill him, and we, Konoha, will be the master. Nara Lujo's complexion changed, and he lowered his voice. How can this be done? Assassinating a daimyo is a felony. As long as no one knows, it's fine. After confirming the cooperation with the Snow Country, we have developed a scientific ninja tool, and we can maintain the operation of the village without funding from the daimyo. Why do we need to be controlled by others? Hearing his words, Nara Luju was a little tangled, and instead of continuing the topic, he changed the topic. The second thing is more important. Go ahead. Mist Shinobi, Sand Shinobi, Cloud Shinobi, and Rock Shinobi Four Villages invited us to jointly hold an unprecedented Chunin exam in the history of the ninja world in three months. The five ninja villages all send candidates. That's right. Yi Xing pondered, thinking that this so-called joint Chunin exam might not be that simple. The five great ninja villages are now on guard against each other. The results of the Chunin exam this time will, with a high probability, determine which village will be invaded first in future wars, and which villages will form allies. Having said that, Nara Luju added. By the way, Yakumo and the others have taken back Shuzuru Jinchuriki and sent it back to Sunagakur, and they will be back soon. Yi Xing understood the meaning of Luju's words, and smiled lightly. You mean, let Class Zero take the joint exam three months later? That's exactly what it means. Yi Xing shook his head and gave a reply that surprised Lu Ju. I will take Hayuga Hanada and Rock Lee with me on the same day. Rock Lee, Hanada, Nara Shikajiu frowned and waved his hands. Let's not talk about strength, both of them are close combat ninjas. From the perspective of the team structure, this is not reasonable. Well, what you said makes sense. Yi Xing agreed with Lu Ju's idea, and after thinking for a while, he spoke. Since this is the case, then add a medium and long distance Tiantian, which will be very good. Nara Luju thought that this kind of team composition is not much different from the third team led by Might Guy. It's just that Neji, the genius of the branch house, was replaced by Hanada, the submissive young lady of the branch house. Nara Luju tapped on the table, looked at Yi Xing seriously, and said in a low voice. This time, during the joint Chunin exam of the five great ninja villages, there may be some troubles during the period. In addition to the participating teams, you'd better bring a few more people just in case. It just so happens that Master Hiyashi will be able to take over as fifth in a few days. Hokage, let me go with you. Hearing Nara Lujo's proposal, 
Yi Xing took a sip from the water glass and said very calmly. You're too weak, forget it. You kid, you really don't give me any sympathy when you talk. Nara Shikajiu smiled helplessly. His strength is stronger than ordinary Jonin, but only a little stronger, far from the level of elite Jonin like Kakashi. Compared with being a ninja, Lu Ju is still better at being a military advisor and managing the medicine business that the Nara family has passed down from generation to generation. Speaking of which, there have been some voices in the clan recently. Nara Lujo's eyes were complicated, and he lowered his voice. It's not just Nara, Yamanaka and Akamaiki's people are the same, they say they don't want me to remove the name of Hokage agent, they are worried. Worried that Ino Shika Cho's status will suffer if you give up power, right? Exactly. To be honest, if it wasn't for Nara Luju, who just wanted to be a quiet person, who would be the agent of Hokage for so long, if he tasted the taste of power, he would also start plotting for the position of fifth Hokage. The people of Ino Shika Cho have such worries because they saw the end of the Serutobi family. Seeing Yi Xing pondering, Nara Luju showed a smile and tentatively said. However, I have thought of a solution. Any solution. Your engagement with Ino, do you think it's time to make it official? Yi Xing was taken aback when he heard the words, but then he understood Lu Ju's intentions. He is now the hottest talent in Konoha village, and he also occupies such an important position as the head of the scientific research department. He is responsible for cooperating with Tiantian's ninja business. People like who become the son-in-law of the head of the Yamanaka family, Haiyi, and members of the Ino Shikacho clan will not have to worry about future treatment and will gain a sense of security. Yi Xing looked thoughtful, and said slowly. This matter is not easy to handle. Nara Lu didn't expect him to give such an answer for a long time, and couldn't help being surprised, and hurriedly said. Could it be that there is something wrong with your relationship with Ino? Not this one. Yi Xing shook his head. It's just that I made a marriage contract with Ino, and the people of the Ino Shika Cho clan feel at ease, but what will the other powerful clans think? Nara Luju thought about this, there is some truth to it. Now the Serutobi family is exterminated, and the Konoha F4 of 3rd Hokage, Shimura Danzo, Yudatane Kaharu, and Mitokado Homura are all dead. The most important locations of Konoha village are basically controlled by Ino Shika Cho. After Hyuga Hiyashi becomes the fifth Hokage, the Hyuga clan doesn't have to worry about their own future, but what about Inazuka, Abarame, and other small clans? Nara doesn't want Ino Shika Cho to become the target of public criticism because of his power, otherwise, he will lose the popularity of the village, and sooner or later he will end up in the same fate as Uchiha. Then you mean, don't make an engagement yet. Master Lu Ju, please broaden your horizons. Yi Xing patted Nara Luju on the shoulder, and smiled lightly. I have a way to bring Konoha village together like never before. Nara Deer heard the words for a long time, obviously a dubious look. Even the sophisticated and intelligent second Hokage Senju Tobarama failed to turn Konoha village into an iron plate. Each ethnic group still has its own little ideas. What can the other party do? Yi Xing looked directly into Lu Ju's eyes and smiled. A marriage contract is not just something that can be made between two people. Nara Lu Ju was taken aback when he heard the words, and after thinking for a long time, he finally understood the meaning of Yi Xing's words. You are too. In the middle of speaking, Lu Ju suddenly stopped, thinking that this seems to be. Is it really a good way? If Yi Xing's fiance is not only Yamanaka Haiichi's daughter Ino, but also Hanada of the Hyuga clan, Inazuka Hana, the daughter of the head of the Inazuka family. In this case, through him, the several ethnic groups have become a community of interests, and the only option is to work together. Nara Shikajiu thought this method was outrageous at first, because in the history of Konoha village, there has never been a civilian ninja with the talent of Yi Sheng. For such a genius, it is normal for those wealthy patriarchs to choose to share if they know that they cannot monopolize it. Thinking of this, Nara Luju hesitated. But, Ino's temperament, can he agree to this? You don't have to worry about that. Then, it's up to you, I still have to go through the handover procedures, so I'm leaving first. As the head of the Hyuga clan, Hiyashi doesn't know much about the affairs of the village, and he is indeed not a qualified candidate for handling government affairs. Fortunately, Nara Shirju only relieved the burden of acting as Hokage's agent, 
and is still Konoha's military staff officer, who can help give advice. Those who are interested can already foresee that with the cooperation of the two patriarchs, the relationship between the Hyuga and Nara clans will become much closer than before. The most powerful Hyuga clan, combined with Inoshika Cho who holds important powers, will become the unshakable basic board of Konoha village. This is also an important reason why Yi Xing proposed to let Hiyashi be the fifth Hokage. The next night, Yi Xing was sitting on the sofa at home when he heard a sudden knock on the door. When I opened the door, I felt a soft little thing rushing directly into my arms. Master Yi Xing, the task has been successfully completed. I've heard that it's doing well. Yi Xing rubbed Yakumo's little head, looked at Zabujin and Bai standing outside the door, and said with a smile. Come in. Yes, Master Yi Xing. After the three of them entered the room, Yakumo started pulling Yi Xing and chatting about interesting things that happened along the way. Don't watch Shuhei look crazy on the outside, but he is really cowardly. It controlled Gara, fled from the land of fire all the way to the border of the land of Tang. By the way, Master Yi Sheng, in the process of retaking Shuhei, we encountered two strangely dressed men. Dress up weird, well, both of them are wearing red cloud black robes, one is holding a scythe, the other is wearing a mask and a hood, the pupils are green, and they look very weird. Hearing Yakumo's description of the two, Yi Xing knew that they were the undead duo in Akatsuki's organization, Hidan and Kakuzu. Kakuzu is okay, although he has several lives, but his abilities are still within the scope of ordinary ninjas. Hidan, it's different, he doesn't use any illusions or ninjutsu, only uses body skills, and fights with a special ability called Curse Death by Blood. Hidan, who has an immortal body, and the blood of Shishi, who can bind the enemy to himself with just a little blood, can be said to be one of the most difficult enemies in the ninja world. Have you fought him? Hearing Yi Zing's question, Kurama Yakumo nodded and showed a sweet smile. Well, those two people behaved very strangely, and they wanted to compete with us for guarding the crane, so I released my ability and killed them both. So that's how it is. Yi Xing remained calm on his face, but he understood in his heart how Hidan and Kakuzu could be killed so easily. Yakumo didn't know the abilities of those two, and it seemed that they had been fooled. Since Hidan and Kakuzu chose to play dead and did not fight Yakumo head-on, it shows that they are not stupid and know that they are not Yakumo's opponent. Well, in short, it's good to take back Shuhei. Yi Xing said something noncommittal, then looked at the three of them. One thing, you still have to come with me. Zabujin and Bai's attitude is very respectful. As you order, Yi Xing stood up took out four pure black masks from the cabinet next to him, put them on the table, and said slowly. Tonight, the mansion of the daimyo of the land of fire. Daimyo, Yakumo and Shiro didn't respond yet, after all, neither of them had received the education of a real ninja. But if he didn't cut AIDG again, his face turned pale with shock, and he couldn't believe it. You want to kill the daimyo of the land of fire? For ninjas, daimyo is absolutely irresistible. No matter how strong the strength is, it is only a war tool in the hands of the daimyo, and it is basically useless. In the history of the ninja world, there has never been a ninja who dared to assassinate the daimyo. Yi Zing's courage is too great. Why, don't you want to? Hearing Yi Zing's question, he no longer showed a tangled look on his face, glanced at Bai beside him, finally gritted his teeth, and nodded slowly. In that case, I'll go with you, please let Bai stay. Seeing Zai Bujin's expression of resigning himself to death, Yi Xing guessed what he was thinking, and shook his head with a dumbfounded smile. Don't worry, I won't silence you because of such a trivial matter. Put the mask on. Zabujin, Shiro, and Yakumo covered their faces with black masks, and then Yi Xing led them, using the Flying Thunder God technique, to teleport out of the village. After two hours of all-out raids, they finally arrived at the daimyo's mansion in the early hours of the morning. I saw a five-story ancient house with a luxurious appearance and bright lights, sitting in front of everyone. On the wall, there are warriors holding bows and arrows everywhere, patrolling vigilantly. This can no longer be called a mansion, and it is not an exaggeration to call it a heavily guarded city. It's hard to sneak in. Zabu Zan looked at the guards on the city wall and said something in a low voice. No need to sneak in. Yi Xing said something calmly. Kill all the samurai, and save Daimyo's life. At the same time as the voice fell, 
the pattern of a pentagram appeared in his left eye, and then it instantly turned into the shape of three hooks. Tianyu was killed. Amaterasu. In an instant, a huge black sea of flames covered the city wall. Like the fire in hell, the never-ending fire of Amaterasu begins to consume everything. What's this? Enemy attack. Enemy attack. Protect the daimyo. All on alert. Search for the enemy. This fire, why can't water pour it out? The samurai have never encountered such a strange thing, no matter whether they are splashed with cloth or poured with water, the black flame of Amaterasu has not been affected at all, it is still burning. In an instant, hundreds of warriors were killed, and a large section of the city wall was swallowed up. Seeing this cruel scene and hearing the howls of those warriors, he glanced at Yi Xing with lingering fear, only to find that the other person's face was still so calm. What a horrible man! At the same time that Zabujin had this idea, Yi Xing stood up and walked towards the mansion. Come on! The three of them followed behind him, all the way to the gate of the mansion. Yi Xing turned the pentagram in his right eye and said softly, Stone House of Heaven. The surrounding scene fluctuated, and when the three people behind him looked around, they saw an unbelievable scene. I saw that the forest surrounding this mansion had all disappeared. Instead, there was a dead silence and deep darkness. Is this, an enchantment? Looking at the darkness again, I felt a deep fear in my heart. It seems that as long as you step in, you will never come back alive. Let's start. Yes. Following Yi Zing's order, Zabujin, Shiro, and Kurama Yakumo dispersed to kill the guards in the mansion. A warrior leader in the distance couldn't help gnashing his teeth when he saw four mysterious people wearing black masks coming in. Is this what these guys did? He looked at Yi Sheng, who was still standing still, and waved his hands at the thrones behind him. Aim and shoot. Accompanied by the sharp sound of piercing through the air, hundreds of arrows shining with cold light flew towards Yi Sheng. Boring. Yi Sheng said with a chuckle, the three hooks in the left eye turned into a circle on the outer circle, and a pattern connected by three blades. Tianyu is sold. Kamui. Next, a scene that shocked the group of warriors happened. I saw hundreds of arrows, all of which pierced through Yi Zing's body, as if what stood there was just an illusion. This guy, what's going on? Speed, request Konoha village support. Continue to attack. The Kamui reproduced by Yi Xing is certainly not Kakashi's left eye ability. The only thing Tianyu can replicate is the pupil technique he has witnessed, which is Obito's hollow ability. Looking at the warriors who were about to draw their bows and shoot their arrows again, Yi Xing showed a kind smile and muttered to himself. It's too boring to kill you with my own hands, let's let you dance. At the same time as the voice fell, the pattern in his left eye changed again, and the shape of four curved blades emerged. Tianyu was sold, distinguished heavenly gods. Under the gaze of Yi Zing's left eye, the group of warriors suddenly felt in a trance, and then they raised their swords and slashed at their companions. After a sound of gold and iron clanging, mixed with the sound of flesh breaking, hundreds of warriors all fell to the ground. After using the Mangekio technique on the left eye three times in a row, Yi Xing only felt a slight soreness, which was nothing serious. He looked at the brightly lit mansion, and there was a cold light in his eyes. At the same time, at the top of the mansion, in a huge hall. The daimyo of the Land of Fire showed a panicked expression, and shouted anxiously. A group of trash, why haven't the intruders been killed yet, Konoha village's support. A warrior knelt in front of him on one knee and said tremblingly. My lord, the other party seems to have used enchantment ninjutsu. We can't get out at all, and the carrier pigeon can't fly out. Hateful, Daimyo threw the wine glass in his hand to the ground, looked at the shivering dancers who gathered together, and gritted his teeth. What are you afraid of? Keep performing for me. The intruders will be killed soon, and by then, I will feed their bodies to the dogs. Are you the Daimyo of the Land of Fire? What a fool! Hearing the voice in his ears, Daimyo turned his head unconsciously. What appeared in his field of vision was a pair of scarlet pentagrams. Yi Xing grabbed Daimyo's neck, lifted him up, and smiled lightly. It's better to die for such a big name. The fire country Daimyo's neck was strangled, his body was shaking like a dying fish, and he said struggling. You, a ninja dare to assassinate Daimyo, you are disobedient to your master. Yeah, Yi Xing smiled nonchalantly, and exerted a little force in his hands. I didn't hear what you said. 
Yu, the fire country daimyo was struggling painfully, because of suffocation and lack of oxygen, he was close to the verge of death. It seems that your opinion is not very big. Yi Xing said with a light smile, and broke Daiming's neck casually. He turned his head to look at the group of trembling dancers, the Mangekio pattern in his eyes exuded a strange and ominous aura. Remember, this is only the first step of Akatsuki's organization. Immediately afterwards, Yi Xing disappeared in an instant, and with Zabujin, Shiro, and Yakumo returned to the Konoha village residence using Flying Thunder God. From the beginning to the end of the raid, it took less than half an hour in total. The number of warriors who died under the hands of those three people must have been at least a thousand. In front of powerful ninjas like Zabujin, Yakumo, and Bai, ordinary warriors are just a pure joke. We, actually killed the daimyo. Zai Bi Yuzan sat paralyzed on the sofa, looking at his blood-stained beheading knife, a look of worry appeared on his usually stiff and expressionless face. He grew up in Kurigakur, and his thoughts have been ingrained in him. A ninja is just a tool, how can he resist the daimyo, who is his own master? The war between the five great ninja villages is actually just a game of chess between the daimyos of the five great nations. Ninjas are the pawns in their hands, and the gains or losses of the war are the bets. To put it bluntly, it is almost the same as fighting crickets. Daimyo is just a person. Yi Xing patted Zai Bujin's shoulder, and said every word. Anyone who is hostile to us must die. You should be very clear about who I am. Bi Yu Zan let out a long sigh, speechless. If Yi Xing hadn't been daring, how could he have absorbed this missed shinobi into Konoha village? The other party gave Bai a safe home, and he was very grateful. This kindness, even if it is an incarnation of a ghost and violates the principles of ninjas, it must be repaid. I understand, Lord Yi Xing. Very good. Seeing Zai Bi Yu Zan finally figured it out, Yi Xing nodded in satisfaction. As for Shiro and Kurama Yakumo, as long as Yi Xing didn't want to kill or not, Bai didn't care at all. This is especially true for Yakumo, who has no ninja principles or moral concepts at all. In order to clear the obstacles in front of Master Yi Xing, kill hundreds of warriors, kill them, kill them, what do you care about? Okay, everyone can go to rest. Hearing Yi Xing's words, Bai He nodded his head and left the house after cleaning the blood stains on his clothes and weapons. But Yakumo sat on the sofa and said with a smile, Master Yi Xing, can I sleep with you tonight? Can. Seeing that Yi Xing agreed, Yakumo tentatively said, Then. Dot can I sleep in the same bed? Your request is a bit too much, but it's okay. Great. Yakumo cheered happily, jumped onto Yi Xing's back, wrapped his arms around his neck and said softly. Then Master Yi Xing, let's go to bed together. A good night's sleep passed. Cloud Shinobi Village, inside the rakage office. What did you say? Looking at the shocked fourth rakage, Mabuyi gathered himself together and repeated it. Last night, the daimyo of the country of fire was assassinated, and his death has been confirmed. There are many surviving warriors who can prove that the other party went to assassinate daimyo. What audacity! Fourth generation lay slapped the table heavily, with an angry expression on his face. Among the five great ninja villages, Cloud Shinobi is the most independent one, even so, they will still obey the orders of the Thunder Country Daimyo. The death of the Fire Country Daimyo was not just an assassination. More importantly, this is an announcement to the whole ninja world. The ninja assassinated his master, and the daimyos of the other four countries would definitely take precautions against the ninja village under his command. On a small scale, this would shake the relationship of attachment between the ninja and the state that first Hokage worked out. To put it seriously, it is very likely that because of this incident, it will turn into a big battle between ninja village and the affiliated country. That group of trash from Konoha, can't even protect the daimyo. Mabuyi sighed slightly and said softly. From the time the four mysterious people entered the mansion to the time the daimyo died, it took less than half an hour. It is said that a mysterious ninjutsu of enchantment was used. With all due respect, Mr. Rakage, if the person who was assassinated was our country I am afraid that the famous name will not be spared. Although fourth generation Lei has a bad temper, he is not a fool. He knew that Mabu was right as he said. Have you figured out the identity of that group of people? Ma Buyi nodded slightly, and whispered three words. Xiao organization. Fourth generation Lei frowned slightly, and snorted coldly. 
They again, the existence of Xiao organization, fourth generation Lei has naturally heard of it. It is a mercenary organization. It is said that as long as the price is high enough, it can even become an enemy of the five major powers. Could it be that which Ninja Village hired the Akatsuki organization to assassinate the daimyo of the Land of Fire? Fourth generation Lei couldn't figure it out, who would benefit from doing such a thing, so he could only tell Mabui. Continue to investigate. Yes, because of people. As soon as Mabui walked to the door, fourth generation Lei seemed to have suddenly remembered something and called her to stop. By the way, has the location of the three-month joint Chunin exam been confirmed? It's confirmed. It is said that it will be held in the Kingdom of Rain. There, no one should tamper with it. Ah, very good. After Azabui left, fourth generation Lei stood in front of the floor-to-ceiling windows, looking down at the entire Cloud Shinobi village, and murmured. This time, it looks like Killer B has to be brought along. At the same time, the cause of Sleepy leaves. Yi Xing had just sent Kurama Yakumo away when he heard the knock on the door again. When he opened the door, he saw Tsunade standing outside the door with two wine bottles and a smile on his face. What's the matter? Seeing Yi Xing's indifferent attitude, Tsunade rolled his eyes and complained. Hey, I'm a drinking buddy with you anyway, you little brat, can't you be more polite to me? While talking, Tsunade entered the room on his own. She took off her shoes and sat on the sofa her two snow-white feet carelessly raised to the table. Come and drink with me. Yi Xing did not take the wine bottle in her hand, but said indifferently. Three forbidden ninjas, don't you know? The so-called three prohibitions for ninjas mean that they cannot drink alcohol before the age of twenty. The style of life should not be too extravagant. Still can't be a womanizer. TCH, shall I teach you? Tsunade rolled his eyes, then hesitated, and said in a low voice. I heard that the patriarch of the Hyuga clan, Hyuga Hiyashi, has been elected 5th Hokage. Well, it's just a matter of these two days. After getting an affirmative answer, Tsunade breathed a sigh of relief and smiled. Thank you, for some special reasons, I can't be a ninja, let alone a 5th Hokage. Yi Xing nodded slightly and said nonchalantly. Hypophobia, right. Hey, how do you know? Heard it from Serutobi Hirazan. Hearing Yi Xing mention Third Hokage's name on his own initiative, Tsunade's expression became a little complicated, and he murmured. Third generation has indeed done a lot of wrong things, but in the final analysis, it is for the maintenance of the village. Can you not spread the information in your hand? No, seeing Yi Xing's resolute refusal, Tsunade frowned slightly, and put the wine bottle heavily on the table. Everyone is dead, and spreading the word about it will only cause instability within the village. Is there any point? Facing the somewhat angry Tsunade, Yi Xing just said calmly. Unless you promise me one condition. Hearing this sentence, Tsunade blushed subconsciously, covered his chest with his hands, and shrank back. You don't mean to, then what? Before Yi Xing could reply, she gritted her silver teeth lightly, her almond eyes glowed with love, and said in a low voice. I'm much older than you, and I'm not of the same generation, but if you insist, I can think about it. Seeing that Tsunade completed the process from resistance, to refusal to welcome, and then to self-strategy in just a few seconds, Yi Xing was stunned. He didn't think that his charm could be so great that the famous princess Tsunade would fall in love with him. Are you in spring? Tsunade shot him a sideways look, and retorted. You've just come into spring. After finishing speaking, she suddenly sighed quietly, shaking the bottomed wine bottle, and murmured. Since I saw you last time, I always feel that you seem to be an acquaintance of mine, even in a dream. Yi Xing was not interested in continuing to listen, and interrupted directly. Simply put, you are in spring. Tsunade gritted her silver teeth and gave him a hateful look. You little brat, you are still so unpopular. Yi Xing did not choose to continue this topic, but said calmly. The Chunin exam three months later, you accompany me to take it, that's the condition. Quote, Tsunade showed hesitation and resisted. You clearly know that I suffer from blood phobia, even if I go, I can't help you. I don't need your help. Yi Xing waved his hand. For the Chunin exam jointly organized by the five major ninja villages, shadows from the other four villages will probably be present, so you should be responsible for dealing with them. After all, you are the granddaughter of first generation and one of the Sanin, so your status is still very high. 
So that's how it is. Tsunade thought to himself that this is not a big deal. The Chunin exam jointly organized by the five major ninja villages, will someone make trouble? It is estimated that when the time comes, it will be a formality. Okay, I promise you. Saying that, Tsunade picked up the bottle again and laughed. Now, can you drink with me? Yi Xing took the bottle and answered with a smile. Yes, more than two months later, there is still one week before the joint Chunin exam will be held. Land of Earth, attached to Lu Yuan. The short Suchikage Onogi sat behind the table, looked at the masked man in front of him, and said in a deep voice. There shouldn't be any mistakes in your plan this time, right? Uchiha Obito nodded, speaking in a very playful tone. Of course, Onogi snorted coldly, looked down at the list on the table. He opened his mouth slowly. Except for Konoha village, which is led by Tsunade, the shadows from the other four villages will participate. The two Jinchuriki from Cloud Shinobi, the fourth Rakage, and Kurigakur will all be left to you. Rock Shinobi is responsible for dealing with the remaining San Shinobi and Konoha, no problem. No problem, Obito nodded and continued. But please don't forget that after the matter is successful, in addition to the agreed reward, we will also hand over the two Jinchuriki from Cloud Shinobi to us. HMPH, of course I won't forget. That's the best. As Obito said, space distortions occurred around his body, and he disappeared slowly. Onoki knocked on the table, a gleam of light appeared in his two small eyes. Uchiha Madara, how bold, he didn't believe that the identity of the masked man was really the legendary Uchiha Madara. But not Madara, it doesn't really matter. The opponent's weird pupil technique and powerful Mangekyo pupil power are not deceiving. This time, Onoki did not hesitate to spend a lot of money to hire Akatsuki to take the opportunity of the joint Chunin exam to get rid of the four people sent by Ninja Village. He is now very old, and he is the oldest shadow in the history of the ninja world. Onoki originally thought about training Didera as his successor. Unexpectedly, that kid, instead of playing with the black soil, went to play with explosive clay and joined the Shao organization formed by Renren. Throughout Iwagakur, Onoki couldn't find a successor who could take over Suchikage's position. Wontu's strength is not weak, but in middle age, he is only an elite Jonin level, and he will never reach cage level strength in this life. As for the black soil, alas, forget it, don't mention it. Onoki can already foresee that if this continues, Iwagakur's future will be plunged into darkness after the death of him, a strong man with the blood successor elimination dust done. After all, Rock Shinobi is the current Rakage's father-killing enemy, and the two countries are relatively close, Cloud Shinobi will definitely not let go of the opportunity for revenge. As long as the Chunin exam is used to unite with the Akatsuki organization and weaken the strength of the other four countries, Rock Shinobi can maintain stability for at least 10 years and gain precious breathing time. Enough to wait for the new generation to grow up. In order to protect the future of the village, Onoki decided to take a gamble. On the other side, at the gate of Konoha village, Hayuga Hiyashi, who was wearing an imperial robe and a Hokage hat, looked at Hinata who was ready to go, with a timid expression on his face, and frowned slightly. Look up, you're the ninja of the Hayuga clan. Yes, yes, father. Seeing Hinata's frightened dear appearance, Hiyashi sighed helplessly and snorted coldly. What a shame. Immediately afterwards, he pulled Yi Xing to a place where no one was around, and said in a low voice. Master Yi Sheng, thank you if you owe me, it can make Hanada have trouble. Even though Hiyashi is now the fifth Hokage, when he said this sentence, he still maintained a respectful attitude. It can be seen that he is very strict with Hanada on the surface, but deep down, he still cares about his daughter very much. Don't worry, Hokage Yins. Yi Sheng patted Hiyashi on the shoulder, said something with a smile, and then took Tsunade, Hanada, Tiantian, and Rock Lee and headed towards the Land of Rain. Looking at their backs, Hayuga Hiyashi's eyes were full of worry, and he said to Lu Ju beside him. This time, nothing will happen, right? Nara Shurju showed a smile and said in relief. Don't worry, Yi Xing will flying thunder god technique, and it will be sent back directly when the time comes, besides. He looked at the figures of several people in the distance, and said lightly. Hanada's strength and determination may be much stronger than you imagine. After leaving Konoha village, he leaned next to Yi Xing every day and smiled sweetly. Yi Xing, 
I'm so tired from walking, please carry me on your back. Tsunade next to him heard it, coughed twice, and said with a serious face. This time I'm going to take an exam, not for a spring outing, so be more serious. Tiantian suddenly became a small group, and nodded obediently. Yes, Master Tsunade. Tsunade, one of the Sanin, is known as the most powerful female ninja in the ninja world. The young female ninjas in Konoha village all regard her as an idol, Tientian is naturally included, and of course they will not talk back to her. And Rock Lee's excited expression and the burning enthusiasm in his eyes seemed to raise the surrounding air a few degrees. This is youth. Among all the genins in the village, he was personally named by Yi Xing and participated in this joint exam, which proves that Yi Xing has high hopes for him. In the joint exam with San Shinobi last time, Rock Lee was very aggrieved. He practiced his big move for more than a year, and he didn't even have a chance to release it, so he ended it in a daze. This time, he must prove that even if he only knows physical skills, he can become a powerful ninja maru on his own. The venue for the joint Chunin exam is set in the Land of Rain. This small country is located at the junction of the centers of the five major countries, and every ninja world war will inevitably be affected. On the way, Tiantian took Hanada's hand and smiled. We haven't been to the Land of Rain yet, so we don't know what to eat there. Forget it. In the Second Ninja World War, Tsunade went to the Land of Rain, also fought against Hanzo of the Salamander, the leader of Rain Shinobi village known as the demigod of the ninja world, and won the name of Konoha Sanin. The Land of Rain is very poor, and Rain Shinobi village is even more lifeless, with nothing interesting to do. Hearing what Tsunade said, the lively and playful Tiantian couldn't help but feel a little disappointed, but on second thought, it's not a loss to be able to get along with Yi Xing out of the village for so long. Besides, Tian Tian touched his wrist, and there was a mini scroll tied there. It is sealed inside, fire style. Dragon flame singing technique. For this Chunin exam, the other four major nations, as well as some ninjas from the small ninja village, will come to participate. Tian Tian plans to use this opportunity to show the power of scientific ninja tools. In this way, Konoha village can get a lot of orders, and she can be regarded as helping Yi Xing share her worries. The kingdom of fire is not far from the kingdom of rain. It only took half a day for everyone to arrive at the border of the kingdom of rain at dusk. That is, Tsunade narrowed his eyes slightly, and saw a team of ninjas not far away. The leader was wearing a mazukage hat and a long blue dress. Turumi Mei, who looked charming and moving, walked over and smiled at Yi Sheng. Yi Sheng, long time no see. Master Mazukage. Seeing that Yi Zing's tone was neither humble nor overbearing, neither affectionate nor rude, Tsunade was inexplicably relieved. Before she had time to speak, Turumi Mei's next words made her, who had just relaxed, become nervous again. I heard that Konoha Village's new fifth-generation fire shadow is not you. What a waste of talent, why not join Kurigakur, I promise, in two years, I will give up the position of Mizukage to you, how? Hearing that Turumi Mei actually used Mizukage's position as a bargaining chip to openly recruit Yi Xing, several people in Konoha were stunned. What's the situation? Could it be that Master Mizukage has taken a fancy to Yi Xing? Ask yourself, if the other party is recruiting themselves, they probably won't be able to resist such a temptation. Tsunade took two steps forward, stood in front of Yi Xing, stared coldly into Turumi Mei's eyes, and said in a bad tone. Mizukage sama Openly poaching the wall will make us very dissatisfied. Poaching, Turumi Mei covered her mouth with a charming smile and said nonchalantly. It's a pity for a talent like Yi Xing to stay in Konoha. As long as he joins Mist Shinobi, we can give him everything. Immediately afterwards, Turumi Mei looked at Yi Xing, the corners of her lips curved slightly, and said in a voice. Even if you want me, yes. Seeing her like this, Tsunade clenched his fists tightly, and when he was about to get angry, he heard Yi Xing say flatly. No, if Mizukage sama is willing to join Konoha, I can feel sorry for myself. Turumi Mei didn't expect that Yi Xing would be so disrespectful to herself, her face darkened instantly, and she hummed softly. If that's the case, there's nothing to talk about. After finishing speaking, she took the Mist Shinobi ninjas and quickly left in the direction of Rain Shinobi village. Looking at the long queue at Kurigakur, 
and thinking that Konoha sent a total of five people including the examinees, Tsunade felt an ominous premonition. Perhaps this Chunin exam is not as easy as she imagined. Immediately afterwards, Tsunade looked at Yi Xing with a calm face, and couldn't help asking curiously. That Mizukage sama is so beautiful, why don't you feel moved at all? Are you jealous? Bah, you conceited little brat, don't put money on your face. Yi Xing teased Tsunade, restrained his smile, looked at Tsunade very seriously and said. Although Mizukage looks okay, but compared to you, he is still much worse. Tsunade's pretty face blushed and stammered, whispering, I look better than her, that's only natural. After all, Tsunade turned around and pointed in the direction of Rain Shinobi village, as if trying to hide his shyness. Keep going, yes. After everyone arrived at Rain Shinobi village, they saw at the gate that the missions from the other four shinobi villages had already left the sky. The other four villages sent hundreds of ninjas, and the momentum was very large. Seeing that Konoha village sent only five people, except for Sunagakur, the ninjas in the other three villages laughed and whispered. Isn't it? The joint examination of the five major countries sent such a small number of people. It's not too embarrassing. Look at what you said, don't people want to send it? It's almost dead, there's nothing to send. That's right, some time ago when San Shinobi invaded, Konoha endured it without saying a word, and even signed a peace treaty, it's really weak. In the next war, Konoha village should also perish. Hearing the ridicule of those people, Tsunade and the three genins felt very unwilling. His own village was insulted like this, who could stand it instead? Yi Xing's attention was all on a short blue-haired woman in a long black dress who was receiving the mission. Konan noticed his gaze and nodded slightly from the air. Yi Xing thought to himself that it seemed that the four great ninja villages still didn't know what kind of dragon pool and tiger den he had stepped into this time. In the eyes of the outside world, the leader of Rain Shinobi village is still Hanzo of the Salamander, who just lives in seclusion. In fact, Yi Xing, who is a time traveler, knows that Rain Shinobi village has long been controlled by Nagato and has become the headquarters of Akatsuki. The venue alone is enough to prove that this Chunin exam is not just an exam. After the other four ninja villages had entered, Yi Xing came to Konan and said calmly. It seems that this time, the Akatsuki organization is going to be dispatched. Konan's eyes flickered, and he said lightly. We won't take action against Konoha, as for the other four ninja villages, we don't care, that's something you should solve yourself. Pity. Yi Xing looked at the Cloud Shinobi village, which was obscured by dark clouds, quiet, and decorated in a very weird style, and smiled lightly. It seems that after this time, you need to find a new base. HMPH, let's talk after you survive. After finishing the work, Yi Xing took Tsunade and the others to the extra distance residence prepared for them by Rain Shinobi Village. As soon as he entered the door, Tsunade whispered with a worried look on his face. Just now I saw Lei from Cloud Shinobi Village's fourth generation and the two Jinchuriki, Onoki from Rock Shinobi and the two Jinchuriki came in person. Immediately afterwards, Tsunade murmured to himself as if comforting himself. Fortunately, Jinchuriki from San Shinobi and Mist Shinobi didn't come, probably because they didn't want to make any big moves. Yi Xing knew that this was not the case. San Shinobi and Mist Shinobi don't want to pie. That's useless. San Shinobi only has Gara as a Jinchuriki. According to the time calculation, he should be ready to take over the position of K's cage now. This time, Baki, Tamari, Konkuro and others did not come, and they sent out a group of secondary players. Mist Shinobi, let alone. After Yugura's death, the three tails have been living in the depths of the lake, out of their control. The six tails Jinchuriki foam is directly regarded as rebellious ninja. In the current Kurigakur, there is no tail beast, so of course it cannot be dispatched. It's no use worrying about it. Yi Xing looked at the three genins and said calmly. Before the exam starts, you should adjust your state first. My request to you is very simple, pass without injury, understand? Yes, I understand. Before doing it differently, the three of them might not have such confidence. But since the Konoha Honkai plan, they have not done nothing for such a long time. With the blessing of scientific ninja tools every day, Rock Lee has been able to perfectly grasp the power of Sixth Gate. As for Hanada, with Yi Zing's precepts and deeds, she may be the strongest among the three. 
Meanwhile, the top of the tower at Rain Shinobi Village. Tiandao Pain overlooked the panorama of Rain Shinobi Village below his feet, his eyes did not fluctuate, and his face was just a cold expression. Conan walked to his side and spoke slowly. Nagato, are you really going to do this? Don't you think, this is a good opportunity? Tiandao Pain opened his arms, and a ray of sunlight falling from the gap in the dark clouds reflected on his body, making him untouchable like a god in the sky. The war between the five major powers will be more beneficial to our plan, and then we will be able to defeat them one by one. Conan looked hesitant, and said in a low voice, But that Asagiri Yi Xing. Don't worry, Tiandao Pain shook his head and said in a deep voice, His purpose is to unify the ninja world. I can see this from his eyes. If this is the case, the other four ninja villages are all his enemies, and the interests of our Akatsuki organization are temporarily the same. Quote. Then the plan he said. Oh, ridiculous. Tiandao Pain snorted coldly. No one can stand shoulder to shoulder with God. Ever since Yahiko's death, Nagato doesn't trust anyone. Yi Zing's plan makes sense, but he's not Naruto, and he doesn't have brainwashing secrets like B. Tianzui. Nagato does not intend to cooperate with Yi Xing, but insists on going his own way, and wants to implement the plan of tailed beast weapons to deter the ninja world to the end. This, he believed, was what the dead Yahiko really wanted to see. A week later, under the auspices of Conan, the host, the Chunin exam officially kicked off. The rules this time are far less complicated than the one held by Konoha and San Shinobi. The first round, individual battle, the winner advances. In the second round, the team battle, the winner advances. In the third round, a scuffle, the last ten people will advance. Rather than saying that this is a Chunin exam, it is better to say that it is an arms race specially organized by the five great ninja villages to show their strength. Match 1, Konoha Village Hayuga Hanada, against Cloud Shinobi Village Karui. Hayuga Hanada, who was already shy when he heard that he was drawn for the first round, was so nervous that his hands began to shake. Seeing her expression, the onlookers couldn't help laughing. Is this what Konoha Village sent? How funny, do you think this is an ordinary Chunin exam? Hurry up and admit defeat, let's start the next game. The ridicule of the people around was amplified infinitely in Hanada's ears, adding to her nervousness. At this time, someone patted her on the shoulder, turned around, couldn't help blushing, and said in a low voice. Mr. Yi Sheng, now, it's time for you to prove yourself, go for it. Yi Zing's short sentence gave Hanada infinite courage. She nodded vigorously, took a deep breath, her expression became calm, and she jumped into the field. Hanada's opponent, Karui, is a black-skinned girl from Cloud Shinobi Village, who is good at lightning-style ninjutsu and sword skills. During the development of the original book, she married Akamichi Choji. Karui looked at Hayuga Hanada, turned the short sword twice in his hand, and raised his chin in disdain. It's boring, it's such a weak little girl. Hanada ignored her sarcasm, but with blue veins appearing around her eyes, she said in a low voice. Blind eyes, open. Seeing that her forehead was very smooth and there was no pattern of caged bird, Karui smiled and said in a low voice. In that case, I will accept your white eyes. Hanada changed from her previous timidity, looked directly into Karui's eyes, and said without flinching. You can try. Start. Following the host's order, Karui held the short sword in one hand and shouted in a low voice. Thunderbolt stab. On her blade, a surrounding thunder appeared, stabbing at Hanada at an extremely fast speed. Facing such a swift attack, Hanada inevitably took half a step back, but immediately showed a firm expression, gathered the inside of him to see it, and let out a coquettish shout. Yachigami Sky Strike Rather than fighting for a long time, Hanada decided to use the strongest gentle fist move taught by Yi Xing to seize the initiative. In midair, four fists gathered by chakra appeared and smashed heavily towards Karui's body. With Hanada's chakra capacity, the Yashigami air strike displayed naturally cannot have the power and influence of Yi Sheng. HMPH, what fancy tricks, let me break it with a knife. Just when Karui was halfway through her words, she suddenly felt an inexplicable sense of pressure falling on her body, almost making her unable to even lift the short sword. The fist formed by chakra gradually enlarged in her field of vision until it landed on her body. Boom. The floor tiles in the venue were all cracked by this terrifying force. 
everyone looked towards the field and saw that Karui, who was still arrogant just now, was lying on the ground at this moment, and after spitting out a mouthful of blood, he lost consciousness. And on the floor tiles beside her, there are three extremely obvious fist marks. What? What's the situation? Fourth generation Lei stood up in disbelief, looking at the marks of the three fists, his expression changed. With his eyesight, he can see it naturally. Had it not been for the fact that three of Hanada's four chakra punches missed slightly, Kalui would have died. The Hayuga clan has such powerful ninjutsu moves at the same time. Winner of the first match, Konoha Village, Hayuga Hanada. Hearing the host's verdict, Hanada felt and muttered to himself. I won, Hanada, you win. Tiantian jumped into the arena, held Hanada's hand, and shouted happily. I won, Hanada finally reacted, and a joyful smile appeared on her pretty face. Tsunade folded his arms around his chest, and said to Yi who was beside him. I've never heard of it before. The Hayuga clan has Yashigami air strikes. You taught Hanada, right? Certainly, you brat. Tsunade sighed helplessly, staring at Hanada and Tiantian. If you don't handle it well, it's easy for these two girls, and Ino and the others, to turn against each other. You aren't among them. Tsunade froze for a moment, blushing proudly. I, I'm not a little girl, how can I be jealous, continue to watch the game, don't talk about these things. It's just a mouthful. After the first exam, Hanada returned to the stands, secretly looked at Yi Zing's side face, and a bold idea emerged in her heart. If it is the current self, it should be noticed by the other party. The Chunin exam continued, and no surprise, Rock Lee and Tian Tian also won. The opponent is a ninja from Shaonan village. Tian Tian won the victory without even having the chance to use scientific ninja tools. It seems that only when the team fights will there be a chance to advertise. Seeing that the three candidates in Konoha village all won the victory with a crushing momentum, some ninjas with active minds have already started to discuss the matter of forming allies with each other when the third melee. Negotiation is also a part of ninja ability. This kind of behavior is, of course, within the scope of the examination rules. At this time, the host Conan frowned when he saw the names on the match list. Next match, Cloud Shinobi Village Killer B, against, Konoha Village, Chaogiri Yi Sheng. Chapter 91 What? Tsunade's face changed when he heard Conan read out the match list. She didn't know that Yi Sheng would also take the Chunin exam. This is all secondary, the key is. Tsunade looked at fourth rakage not far away, and said angrily. It's so despicable to send eight tails Jinchuriki to take the Chunin exam. Facing Tsunade's accusation, fourth rakage folded his arms around his chest, looking very arrogant, and said in a deep voice. Why not? Bai is also Jenin, so of course he is eligible to take the Chunin exam. Fourth generation Lei's words are indeed correct. When Killer B just became Jenin, he was chosen by his father to be his partner. Later, he became Eight Tails Jinchuriki, participated in the Third Ninja World War, and stayed in Yunlei Gorge after that. In name, the famous Eight Tails Jinchuriki Killer B is indeed just a Jenin. That's right, but ordinary Jenin, in front of Killer B, isn't that just like an ant? Yeah, it's finally my turn, asshole, asshole. Listening to his younger brother's incoherent rapping tone, fourth generation Lei sighed helplessly, patted Killer B on the shoulder, and made a veiled throat slitting motion at him. I see, because, Killer B rolled over and jumped into the field. Fourth generation Rei's goal in sending him to take the Chunin exam is simple. During the exam, you can do your best, regardless of life or death. Every time Killer B kills a young ninja from another village, it weakens its future power. Regardless of the original book, this Eight Tails Jinchuriki seems to be a good person. That's just because Killer B is on the protagonist's side. Cloud Shinobi Village is very warlike, how could Killer B, who grew up there, be a soft-hearted saint? He hooked his fingers at Yi Xing in the stands, and said provocatively in a tongue-like tone. Zhao Wu Yi Xing, I've heard of you a long time ago, come down and led me to death. Tsunade stopped in front of Yi Xing. Her beautiful eyes were full of worry, and she said softly. Abstain, don't worry about the face of the village. She knows that Yi Xing is strong, but how is it possible to win Killer B? You must know that Killer B has reached a reconciliation with eight tails in the body, 
and can freely transform into a tailed beast, known as the existence of the perfect Jinchuriki. Apart from Obito and Nagato who are hidden in the dark, it can be said that Killer B is the current strength of the ninja world. Yi Sheng, how could he win? No, I will not abstain. Hearing Yi Zing's answer, Tsunade couldn't help being taken aback. Are you sure of winning? Hard to say. Then why do you? Yi Xing interrupted Tsunade's words and said softly. If I abstain here, then in the second team battle, our three genins will face Killer B. Do you think they can win? Tsunade bit her lip lightly, grabbed Yi Zing's cuff, and said in a low voice. But, I can't let you die. In this world, there are some things that have to be done. Having said that, Yi Xing cast his eyes on Killer B, and there was a faint flash of excitement inside. Besides, it's more interesting to fight when you're not sure you're going to win, isn't it? Seeing his resolute attitude, Tsunade stopped persuading him, hesitated a little, and actually leaned forward, stood on tiptoe, and pressed a light kiss on Yi Zing's forehead. Little ghost, you must come back alive. It's boring to kiss here. Hearing Yi Zing's teasing, Tsunade whispered with blushing cheeks. If you can come back alive, I will kiss somewhere else. Okay, it's a deal. After Yi Xing finished speaking, he dodged into the arena, so fast that most of the ninjas couldn't see it clearly. Um, speed type. Fourth generation Lei was taken aback for a moment, and then showed a confident smile. For speed, who else can beat Cloud Shinobi's ninjutsu? After the death of Yellow Flash, fourth generation Lei is the fastest in the ninja world. Killer B is not as fast as him, but it is definitely more than enough to deal with a little guy. Bring it on. When Killer B finished speaking, he suddenly held seven ninja knives with various parts of his body in a strange posture. Desolate green hair and machete. Of course Yi Xing recognized this physical move. In the original book, Sasuke was severely injured by Killer B in this state, and almost died. Even with his physical strength, if he was hit, he might not be able to bear it. Let's begin then. Yi Xing took out a dozen kanai from his bosom, and threw them in various directions in the field. Seeing this familiar scene, fourth generation Lei frowned slightly and muttered to himself. Flying Thunder God, this kid, actually mastered the famous stunt of Yellow Flash. Seeing Kanai engraved with the Flying Thunder God formula, Killer B was taken aback for a moment, but then his eyes showed excitement. During the Third Ninja World War that year, Namikaze Minato defeated Cloud Shinobi's son of Rakage and Eight Tails Jinchuriki with one against two, which was passed down as a good story in the ninja world. For fourth Hokage it was achievement, for Killer B that battle was disgrace. Unfortunately, before he could take revenge, Namikaze Minato died. This time, it happened to be a rare opportunity. Declare in front of so many that he, the Killer B, is now fearless and holds the enemies of the Flying Thunder God. Start. As the host, Conan is also very concerned about the outcome of this battle. The moment she announced the start, Killer B's figure flashed, chakra wrapped in lightning style on the blade, rushed towards Yi Zing's body. Bang, bang, bang. Facing a powerful taijutsu ninja-like Killer B, Yi Xing did not hesitate at all, and directly entered the state of the Emperor Engine. Eight trigrams palms, revolving heaven. The blade of the thunderbolt hit the rotating chakra, sending out a piercing roar. The ninjas who watched were dumbfounded at this moment. From the very beginning, this battle has been far beyond the genin, no, far beyond the Jonin level. Turumi Mei looked at the two fighting in the arena, without that charming smile on her face, and whispered to herself. Don't die, Chao Wu Yi Sheng. After a few breaths, Killer B stepped back a distance, looked at the seven broken blades, and threw them to the ground. In the first round, neither side was injured, but judging from the damaged weapons, he lost a bit. Killer B looked at Yi Xing with a calm face, and said in a deep voice. Why not dodge with the Flying Thunder God? Yi Xing shrugged and smiled nonchalantly. At the very beginning of the battle, you should first collect the enemy's intelligence. As for dodging, that is the trick you need to use when facing an irresistible attack. TCH, smart little devil. Killer B gritted his teeth and said something bitterly. He seemed to be attacking with all his strength just now, but in fact most of his attention was focused on the surrounding techniques. Through the eight tails in the body, Killer B can sense the subtle fluctuations in space. If Yi Xing casts Flying Thunder God, the blade he throws will also arrive the instant after changing position. 
Unexpectedly, things did not go as he expected. Start now. Killer B has a low posture. The surface of the body is covered with a layer of dark red chakra, and several tails grow from the back. That's the real battle. Seeing his changes, the onlookers talked a lot. Is that tailed beastization? After only one round, I decided to use tailed beast. Did that kid named Yi Xing make Killer B feel the pressure? Maybe it's a quick fix. Killer B turned a deaf ear to the surrounding discussions, took a deep breath, slightly puffed up the muscles in his arms, and shouted angrily. Thunder plow hot knife. His body was like a cannonball, hitting Yi Xing's neck with astonishing power. Soon, when Killer B was about to hit, Yi Xing's figure flickered and appeared in another position in the field. In this way, one of the two made a crazy raid, and the other used Flying Thunder God to avoid it, making people dazzled. It is not every day that the master of the Flying Thunder God faces off against the beast-like Eight Tails Jinchuriki. Is it just dodging? Killer B shouted angrily, changed his strategy, and within an instant, destroyed the Flying Thunder God Kanai all over the field one by one. Yi Xing watched this scene from a distance, thinking that it would be a little difficult to handle. Killer B is much easier to deal with if Kamui. Hollow is used. The problem is, he doesn't know whether the different space he entered is the same as Obito. It would be even worse if Obito caught the loophole while dodging. It seems that we need to be more serious. Yi Xing said with a smile, the pattern of three hooked jade appeared in his eyes, and he put on a gentle fist posture and said calmly. Bring it on. Seeing this scene, not only the ninjas from the other four ninja villages, but even the people from Konoha were dumbfounded. Yi Xing Wai, there is Sharingan. His posture, or the holy fist. This, the Hyuga family plus the Uchiha family, isn't the composition a bit too complicated. Sharingan, isn't your surname Asagiri, kid? Killer B didn't expect to meet an opponent who opened Sharingan. Never mind. Killer B shook his head putting aside the doubts in his mind. You thought Sharingan, he came to Yi Xing in an instant, and his right arm was like a huge blade, slashing towards Yi Xing's neck. Can you keep up with my movements? Boom, what Killer B didn't expect was that Yi Xing lifted his arm away with just a light push. He even threw him flying with the help of his full force. Seeing this scene, fourth generation lay frowned, thinking what kind of strange physical technique is this? Looking at the posture, it is similar to the gentle fist of the Hyuga family. But he had never heard of this kind of effect of borrowing strength. Killer B fell to the ground, bounced up quickly, and looked at Yi Sheng. What kind of move are you doing? Gentle fist profound meaning. Tai Chi. Strange name. Killer B complained, and when he was about to attack, he suddenly heard a thunder in the sky. Conan raised his head, looked at the cloudy sky, and frowned slightly. Didn't you tell Nagato not to use the Rain Tiger Freedom Technique today? Why, it rained suddenly in Rain Shinobi Village. Under the thunder. Yi Xing gently raised his right hand and waved. Go to hell. Several roaring thunderbolts descended from the sky, made a strange turn in midair, and attacked Killer B. This is, Killer B. It was only then that I noticed that on my right arm, there was a spell similar to Flying Thunder God, but the words were different. The lightning was so fast that he had no time to react before being hit. Seeing the dazzling light, Tsunade couldn't help covering his eyes, and said with joy in his heart. Did Yi Xing win? After the light dissipated, she raised her head and looked into the field, only to see an astonishing scene. Not only Tsunade, but all the watching ninjas fell silent. Inducing the celestial phenomenon, even the old man of Sage of Six Paths has never done such a thing, boy, you are very good. Eight Tails Gyuki finally showed his huge real body. After it finished saying this sentence, a black chakra ball suddenly gathered in its mouth. Only with this trick can I kill you. Seeing the chakra ball, the ninja's onlookers panicked and started to flee into the distance. That's Tailed Beast Bomb, run. The people in Konoha stood still. Tsunade gritted his silver teeth, looking at the mighty Tailed Beast Bomb with an expression of death. If she unlocks the hundred healings mark and uses Baihao technique, she may have enough strength to knock the tailed beast bomb into the air. It's just that under the explosion, she must have died. Without the slightest hesitation, Tsunade made a mark with both hands, and said in a low voice. Before she could utter the words, Yi Xing said in a soft voice with the Mangekyo pattern appearing in his eyes. Suzano, 
almost as tall as eight tails Yuki, a white Susan, rising from the ground. Stone House of Heaven. Yi Xing cast the Mangekio pupil technique on his right eye, enveloping the entire field. In the eyes of the four Konohas, it looked like a semicircular black mist that suddenly covered the field. Seeing this scene, Eight Tails couldn't help but slow down the movement of saving the tailed beast bomb, and said to Killer Bee in his heart. Bye, under the effect of this enchantment, once the tailed beast bomb explodes, it will also affect us. Unimportant, Killer Bee said very firmly. Brother said, no matter what, the life of Chao Wuyi Xing must be taken away. Even if I am seriously injured, I have to do this. Good. Eight Tails and Killer Bee connected with each other, knowing that the other party was extremely determined at the moment, so they spit out the fully saved Tailed Beast bomb towards the White Susano. The chakra fluctuations on it even distorted the space a bit. Yi Xing controlled Susan to raise his right hand, and a pure black rotating chakra sphere similar in appearance to the Tailed Beast bomb emerged on it. Yin Dun Sage Art. Susano Big Spiral Lunyu. Boom. The chakra spheres on both sides collide together to reveal a dazzling light. From the perspective of the four Konohas outside, there was no movement inside the black sphere. This is the strength of the Sky Stone House, the only one in history, the enchantment type Mangekio pupil technique. Unless it is a six paths powerhouse who can tear space, or a powerful space pupil technique like Kamui, otherwise, the outside world and the inside are two worlds that do not interfere with each other. Seeing that the expected explosion did not happen, those ninjas who had just fled in a hurry returned to their positions silently. Everyone looked at the semicircular black sphere, and they were very puzzled. What kind of technique is this? Haven't seen it, enchantment. Can it defend against the enchantment of tailed beast bomb? Isn't that nonsense? Amidst the discussion among the crowd, Tsunade, Hanada, and the three TNTN women all performed the same movements, holding their hands in front of their chests, and looking nervously at the half-black sphere. Since graduation, Yi Xing, who has never lost to anyone, can resist the terrifying power of eight tails. After about two or three minutes, the Sky Stone House was finally slowly dismantled. Who won? Do you still need to watch it? Jin Churiki, which is completely tailed, how can anyone defeat it? The strength of Cloud Shinobi Village is truly terrifying. From today onwards, Killer Bee is the undisputed number one ninja powerhouse. After the Black Sphere completely disappeared, the ninjas saw an unbelievable scene. Killer Bee fell to the ground covered in bruises, with only a slightly heaving chest, proving that he was still alive. The clothes on Yi Zing's body were a little torn. That's right, that's all. On the surface of his body, he didn't even see a trace of scars. Seeing that Yi Xing was safe and sound, Tsunade heaved a sigh of relief, tears of joy even shed in her beautiful eyes. Yi Xing scanned the crowd in the stands, and said slowly. Starting today, I hope you will remember that Konoha village is the strongest ninja village. And I am an existence that you will never be able to fight against. Seeing that Killer B, who had fully turned into a tailed beast, was seriously injured by Yi Xing, the most shocking thing was not fourth generation Lei, but Tsuchikage Onoki. Iwagakur, Jinchuriki with four tails and five tails. Because of this, Onoki can deeply feel that it is almost impossible to use human power to fight against such a terrifying existence as the tailed beast. In his whole life, he only knew two people who had the strength to suppress a tailed beast head on without using sealing techniques or other means. First Hokage Senju Hashirama, and Uchiha Madara, the strongest in the history of the Uchiha clan, who left a shadow on Onoki for life. Could it be that this Asagiri Yixing, who is not yet 15 years old, already has the strength to rival Hashirama and Madara? Onoki, what should I do? Four Tails Jinchuriki Lao Zi looked at Yixing who was standing in the field, with a visibly apprehensive expression on his face, and asked in a low voice. Onoki pondered for a moment, and slowly opened his mouth to Kaido. It's okay, it's a good thing for us. How is it a good thing? Although that kid doesn't seem to be injured, it's impossible for him to defeat the full eight tails without loss. I'm afraid he's just trying to hold on now. It just so happens that two of the most difficult obstacles have been cleared away in one competition. For Onoki, the main opponents of this plan are Cloud Shinobi Village's Wooden Golem and Killer Bee, and he doesn't care much about fourth generation Lei. At this time, he couldn't help but sigh that his luck was really good. 
The accidental draw against the lottery not only made Killer B lose his combat power, but also exposed Konoha Village's whole card. With so much help from God, why worry about things not being done? Onoki remained calm, but fourth generation Lei, who had a fiery temper, couldn't help it. He jumped into the arena and checked it first. Seeing that Killer B was not in danger of life, he was finally relieved. Immediately afterwards, he looked fiercely at Yi Xing with a fierce look in his eyes, and thunder and lightning appeared around him. Little devil, how dare you hurt Bai, take your life. With a flash, fourth generation Lei rushed towards Yi Xing. At the same time, there was a shout. Rakage, don't bully people too much. Boom, after a muffled sound, fourth generation Lei retreated more than 10 meters, his feet dragging a long trace on the ground. He felt the still twitching muscles in his right arm, and couldn't help but gasp. As the smoke cleared, Tsunade, whose clothes were dancing with the wind, was standing in front of Yi Xing, and slowly retracted his left fist. She looked directly into fourth generation Lei's eyes and said coldly, Rakage, since it's an exam, even if Jinchuriki in your village is injured, it's your own fault. Don't really think that we, Konoha, are afraid of you and hide yourself. When Tsunade said this, he stomped his left foot, and the hard floor tiles cracked directly, extending a long crack, which stopped in front of fourth generation Lei. Humph, the granddaughter of first Hokage, Princess Tsunade, is really amazing in strange power. Fourth generation Lei said in a cold voice, carried Killer B on his shoulders, and returned to the stands. If there were only Tsunade and the three Konoha Genins, he might have been exiled. To be able to wipe out one of the strongmen of Sanin would undoubtedly greatly weaken the power of Konoha village. It's just that the kid named Chao Wuyi Xing really doesn't have the ability to continue fighting. According to common sense, it should be like this. But even if there is only a 1% possibility, fourth generation Lei dare not bet on it. No one knew how Yi Xing blocked the tailed beast bomb and beat Killer B like this. The unknown is the most frightening thing. Medical ninja. Fourth generation Lei shouted, handed the unconscious Killer B to the accompanying Cloud Shinobi medical ninja, and sat back on his seat with a grim expression. On the other side, Tsunade returned to the stands with Yi Xing, and then lightly hammered his chest with his fist, crying and laughing. You have such ability, why didn't you say it earlier, it made me worry for a long time. I don't know, it turns out I'm so strong. Tsunade smiled through tears, and said coquettishly. You're getting cocky again. After using Suzano with all his strength, and the consumption of that move is no less than that of Tailed Beast Bomb, even more than a lot, Yindan Sage Art. Suzano's big spiral wheel Yu, Yi Zing's chakra volume has indeed bottomed out. But with first generation cells, he can recover to about 70% in less than an hour. Senju Hashirama's physique is not only a huge amount of chakra, but also a recovery ability beyond ordinary people's imagination. Among the reincarnations of the two sons of the Sage of Six Paths, Indra has always been the stronger side, and Ashura focuses on the ability to unite people through a network. Only Senju Hashirama, breaking away from thousands of years of practice, outshines Indra's reincarnation, Uchiha Madara, in strength. This can also be regarded as breaking away from the shackles of fatalism to a certain extent. Yi Xing, Tian Tian walked over quickly held Yi Zing's right hand, and asked with great concern. You're not hurt. Well, I'm fine. At this time, what Tiantian and Tsunade didn't expect was that Hanada, who had always been submissive and shy, ran over, summoned up her courage, held Yi Zing's left hand and said in a moaning voice. No. It's good that you're not hurt. Rock Lee looked at Yi Xing surrounded by three women and scratched his head in bewilderment. Is this also youth? After a brief interlude, the Chunin exam continued. After the team battle is over, it is the final melee link. Before the three of Hanada, Tiantian, and Rock Lee left the stage, Yi Xing made a special request. Be careful, there are probably quite a few people who have the same idea as Cloud Shinobi Village. Tiantian has the best mind, and instantly understood the meaning of his words, and nodded solemnly. I see. There are not many people like Killer B who are far more powerful than Genin but still at the Genin level, but there may be a few in every village. I think this time, apart from Konoha, the other four ninja villages all want to use the so-called exam to justifiably kill potential geniuses in other villages. If you want to do tricks, the melee is the best opportunity. 
Tian Tian, Hanada, and Rock Lee entered the arena to prepare for the exam. Out of hundreds of genins, only the ten who stand at the end can pass, which can be said to be the most stringent rule in the history of Ninja World. Yi Xing won the first personal battle. In the second team battle, Conan didn't call his name. Just kidding, after defeating Jinchuriki Killer B, who is completely tailed, do we still need these assessments? Asagiri Yi Xing has become the first examinee who passed the exam, officially promoted to Chunin, and lost Konoha Genin, a powerful buff. Be careful for a while. Hearing Tiantian's reminder, both Rock Lee and Hanada nodded, and Hanada directly rolled his eyes. Rock Lee even opened the fourth gate directly, so as not to have enough reaction time when the melee started. Start. Following Conan's order, the three of Konoha immediately formed a formation, with Hanada in the middle supporting, Rock Lee at the forefront, and Tiantian, who had the weakest melee strength, at the safe rear. It can only be said to be reasonable. It's so reasonable. To the surprise of the three people, who were facing a formidable enemy, the exam had just started, and the examinees around them, as if they had seen a plague god, scattered towards the distance like a tide. What? What's the situation? The three of them were at a loss, and they couldn't figure out what was going on. Tsunade in the stands was also slightly stunned, and it took a while to react, and he laughed dumbfoundedly at Yi Sheng. See, the candidates are afraid of your revenge, so they dare not attack our genin team. What scares the other four ninja genins is because of Yi Zing's terrifying strength, but the most important thing is his pair of Sharingan. The former Uchiha clan, but everyone talks about it, the reason is that the ability of Sharingan is too weird. As long as they look at each other, they will fall into the illusion, and they don't even know how they died. These candidates don't want to become a chunin, but they can't even walk out of the gate of Rain Shinobi Village. In this way, in a slightly comical way, the three members of the Konoha Genin team successfully passed the exam without injury. After Conan announced the result, he didn't leave, but looked at the sky and muttered to himself. It's time to start. When everyone saw Onogi floating into the air, they thought this Suchikage was trying to perform some fun show for everyone, and many people started applauding. Only Tsunade, vaguely feeling that something is wrong. Old Z, turn back. Hearing Onoki's shout, Lao Zi and Han in the crowd didn't hesitate at all, immediately put on the crimson chakra coat, and rushed towards the ninjas of the other four villages. Dust escape primary realm stripping technique. The first target he aimed at was Tsunade above the stands. Onogi knew the ability of this medical ninja best, but he had to kill the other party before he could do anything. Seeing Tian Tian, she lightly tapped her wrist inward, and a miniature scroll jumped into her palm. Dragon Flame Singing Technique The biggest advantage of scientific ninja tools is that there is no need to mobilize chakra, and there is no need to seal, as long as the scroll is activated, it can be cast very quickly. Anamu's dust escape hadn't been completed yet, the four fire dragons had rushed close, he had no choice but to dodge to the side. This old ghost, seeing that the ninjas of Cloud Shinobi Village suffered heavy casualties in the raid, fourth generation Lei clenched his fists and said in a low voice to Wooden Golem beside him. Against the enemy, the venue, which was joyful and peaceful just now, instantly turned into a hell on earth under the sudden attack of Rock Shinobi. Looking at the blood and corpses in front of him, Tsunade's pupils shrank slightly, and his body began to tremble uncontrollably. Tian Tian noticed her reaction, although she didn't know why, she still spoke anxiously to Yi Xing. Use Flying Thunder God When Yi Xing was about to reach out to touch the three of them, suddenly a white bird flew close to them. Didera, he didn't think much about it, the Mangekio pattern appeared in his right eye, and he said in a low voice. Stone House of Heaven The black enchantment enveloped Hanada, Tiantian, Rock Lee, and Tsunade. As for himself, the pattern of his left eye changed. Tianyu was sold. Hollow. Boom. The white flying bird exploded, producing a wave of white flames. Standing on a giant clay bird overlooking the entire venue, Didera smiled arrogantly. Hearing the sound of the explosion, everyone looked up and saw that on the high platform of the meeting place, at some time, a group of strangely dressed mysterious people in red clouds and black robes had gathered. Tian Dao Pain looked down at the ninjas in the four ninja villages below, and said slowly. All members of the Shao organization, join us. Seeing this group of people, Fourth Rakage couldn't understand, and shouted angrily at Onoki in the air. Old thief, 
You actually plan to ambush us. Tarumi May also gritted her silver teeth lightly, thinking silently in her heart, what should she do next? Once this place becomes a battlefield, it is the world of Jinchuriki. Even if she has Lava Style and Boil Style's double blood successor limit, she is not an opponent of Tailed Beast head to head. In this case, Yuenian is really at a disadvantage. Backquote, HMPH, after today, there will be no fourth rakage like you. Onoki said something disdainfully. Let's go. Hearing Tiandao Payne's order, everyone in Akatsuki's organization, including Conan, joined the battlefield. His cold and heartless Rinnegan scanned the scene like purgatory on earth, and said in a deep voice. Start here and make the world feel the pain. At this time, Yi Xing saw Obito wearing a mask, and thought this was a good opportunity. As long as the opponent is still alive, he must always be careful when using hollow. Instead of this, it is better to kill Obito here, but also capture the opponent's Mangekio, at Kakashi's left eye, and create a strong double Kamui. After making a decision, Yi Xing released the Sky Stone House, put his hands on the Four of Konoha, activated Flying Thunder God, and returned to Konoha Village. Ha, huh, it's okay. Tsunade breathed a sigh of relief, but saw Yi Xing's figure disappearing again. Standing on the street of Konoha Village, she murmured to herself with an expression of disbelief. He, won't go back again. On the other side, in the examination hall of Rain Shinobi Village, under the ravages of the two Jinchuriki, Laozi and Han, more than half of the three ninja villages were killed or injured. By Wooden Golem, who wants to help the village companions, but is entangled by Hidan and Kakuzu. Fourth Rakage is held back by Didera, Red Sand Scorpion, and Kisame Kisame. No matter how strong he is, the opponent is the number one villain in the ninja world, the Akatsuki organization. With one against three, he gradually loses the upper hand. Mizukage Terumi Mei, is dealt with by Xiao. Tiandao Pain and Obito stood on a high place, overlooking everything under their feet. At this time, the two noticed that Yi Xing appeared in the field again. Nagato, come with me and kill him. Hearing Obito's words, Tiandao shook his head. I reject, you guy, he will definitely become an obstacle to our collection of tailed beasts in the future, or a person from Konoha village, why? I said, I refuse. Tiandao looked directly into Obito's eyes, and said indifferently. I don't want to repeat it a second time. Of Zhao Obito gave Nagato a deep look, and then jumped down from a high place. He has recently felt that the other party has been a little out of his control. Uchiha Madara's plan, by rights, should be impeccable. Which link is the problem? If this continues, Nagato's plan to cast Rene Tensai and revive Uchiha Madara after collecting all the tail beasts will not work. Zhao Wu Yi Sheng. Obito walked in front of Yi Sheng and said in a hoarse voice that was deliberately disguised. After more than a year, we met again. You're too loud. The Mangekio pattern in Yi Zing's left eye turns and activates Tianyu's life. Amaterasu. Black flames emerged, but they directly passed through Dai Gan's body. Seeing the familiar Mangekio pupil technique, he couldn't help being somewhat shocked in the right eye exposed under the mask. Your pupil technique is actually the same as Uchiha Itachi's. It's really strange. Obito has studied the records of the Uchiha family, and the pupil skills of the two are the same or similar, and generally only appear in fathers, sons, and brothers who are of similar blood. Yi Xing, a foreigner, was able to activate the Mangekio Sharingan, which made him a little unbelievable, and the Mangekio pupil technique like Amaterasu was really unimaginable. Are you scared? Yi Xing stared at Obito feeling a little more vigilant. Uchiha Obito, with the power of just one Mangekio, controls the perfect Jinchuriki, 4th Mizukage Yagura. This shows that his pupil power has reached an extremely perverted level. Half-body white Zetsu cells can only reduce the loss of Mangekio, but cannot strengthen pupil power. In the case of Obito, it is pure talent. After all, he skipped the 3 Go Jade and directly evolved into Mangekio from the 2 Go Jade. At this time, Obito was also extremely afraid of Yi Xing in front of him. After all, last time, the other party showed first Hokage, who knows what new tricks they can come up with this time. Just when the two were confronting each other, a cold voice that seemed to be a smile but not a smile came. Mr. Yi Xing, do you want me to help you? Hearing this familiar voice, Yi Xing didn't even look back, just said calmly. Orochimaru, 
you really like to join in the fun. Of course, Orochimaru took off the camouflage on his face, revealed his true colors, and walked to Yi Zing's side. I saw that his dress was exactly the same as the ninja in Huang Ran's San Shinobi. Orochimaru looked at the Scarlet Mangekio Sharingan under Obito's mask, then at Tiandao Pain who was standing on a high place, and greedily licked his lips. I didn't expect that there are so many treasures hidden in Rain Shinobi Village. Yi Xing smiled and patted Orochimaru on the shoulder. You are really dishonest. Apart from the eyes of Sage of Six Paths, you probably have another purpose for coming here, right? Orochimaru was not embarrassed when he saw him breaking his own thoughts, and smiled directly. Yeah, I don't have many friends, and that strange woman is one, so I don't want to see her die. Orochimaru knew that Tsunade suffered from hemophobia. In addition, before the start of the Chunin exam, he heard some rumors through certain channels, and knew that this exam was not that simple. That's why Orochimaru got into San Shinobi's team and came here, thinking that if Tsunade was in danger, he would help him. Yi Xing nodded slightly and said softly, Since Tsunade has been sent back to Konoha by me, you still show up on your own initiative, which is a bit out of character for you. Who knows? Orochimaru shrugged, looking nonchalantly relaxed. Anyway, I won't die, and helping a bunch of former partners is not a big deal. Although Orochimaru said so, Yi Xing knew that the other party's real thoughts were probably more complicated. He told the other party that Rinnegan has the ability to extract other people's souls. Orochimaru's body may be difficult to kill, but it can also be reborn with the help of the curse seal. But if the soul is sucked by the world, it's hard to say what the consequences will be. After all, the ability of the Eye of Sage of Six Paths must be higher than Uchiha Itachi's Ten Fist Sword and Eight Foot Mirror. However, it doesn't matter. Orochimaru is a complicated person, there's no need to dwell on his thoughts. Hum, too. Uchiha Obito looked at the two people in the distance coldly and said slowly. Just right, I haven't shot with all my strength for a long time. Really, then. In the middle of Yi Zing's words, the Mangekio pattern on his left eye suddenly changed. Tianyu was sold. Distinguished heavenly gods. Boring. The pupil power of the two Mangekio collided, easily dissolving the distinguished heavenly gods. Seeing this situation, Yi Xing was not surprised at all, thinking that it was so. No matter how much the effect of distinguished heavenly gods is boasted, after all, it is just an ordinary Mangekio's pupil technique, and it is impossible to control Uchiha Obito with amazing pupil power. Hulker with many snake hands. Orochimaru raised his right arm, dozens of long snakes emerged from the cuff, biting towards Uchiha Obito's body. Stone House of Heaven. Obito was trying to avoid Hollow's body, but a black barrier fell around him. He obviously felt that Hollow's speed had slowed down a lot, as if he was stuck. Time-space pupil technique, Obito's pupils narrowed slightly, and without thinking too much, he quickly jumped to the side, dodging the attack of the latent snake hand. Yi Xing looked at him calmly, the Mangekio pattern in his eyes emitted a strange light. What would you do without Hollow's abilities? Obito clenched his teeth, looking at Yi Xing with a strong killing intent in his eyes. Kamui, is the only time-space pupil art in the history of the Uchiha family. Unexpectedly, the kid on the opposite side, whose surname is not Uchiha at all, can awaken the enchantment-type pupil technique that can seal the space like the stone house of the sky. This is simply his natural nemesis. There's just one thing that Obito can't figure out. The principle of his pupil technique is very simple, but in the eyes of outsiders, it should be very strange and unpredictable. For so many years, the only one who can see through the essence of Hollow in a short period of time is 4th Hokage, who has a superior combat IQ. How did Yi Xing know that his pupil technique is essentially a space transfer type? Obito collected himself, looked at the two people opposite, and said coldly. Even if you don't use Mangekyo, it's more than enough to deal with you. Mr. Yi Xing. Orochimaru looked at his empty sleeves, and a playful look appeared in his golden vertical pupils. Very interesting. Quote, the principle of the Sky Stone House is to block the space within a specific range. Not only Obito's hollow ability, Orochimaru found that even the hidden shadow snake hand that needs to be cast by summoning can't be used. It was the first time in his life that he had seen such a weird ability. Yi Xing didn't reply, just stared at Obito in the distance, and said softly. 
Tianyu was killed. Amaterasu. The black flame turned into a dragon shape, biting towards Obito's body. Fire style. Great fireball technique. Obito spits out a huge ball of fire that collides with Amaterasu's flames. When the black fire devoured the great fireball, he had already rushed to the front of Orochimaru quickly under the cover of the fire. Wood style. Cutting technique. A wooden thorn appeared in Obito's hand, and he threw AIFJ hard at Orochimaru's chest. With one against two, choose the lower level against the best one. Besides, when Obito was still in Konoha village, he had heard a lot about Orochimaru's deeds. He knew that this strong man with the name of Sanin had always been famous for his many cards and strange methods. It would be wise to deal with Orochimaru first and then deal with Yi Sheng. Wind style. Great breakthrough. Of course, Orochimaru was not that easy to deal with, a gust of wind spewed out of his mouth, blowing the thorn aside. Immediately afterwards, he showed a slight smile, opened his mouth wide, and slowly spit out a long sword from his mouth, holding it in his hand. The Kusanagi sword, I didn't expect you to have such a thing. Obito said lightly, and took off the huge round fan behind his back with his right hand, and said coldly. Both of you will die here today. As he spoke, Obito waved his left hand and shouted in a low voice. Wood style, tree bound forever. What he didn't expect was that when the tree was about to bind Orochimaru's body, Yixing actually called out the same move name as him. Wood style, tree bound forever. Boom, the trees on both sides collided with each other, making a muffled sound. You can also wood style. Obito frowned, and the right hand holding the round fan began to tremble slightly. The scene in front of him was really beyond his acceptable range. In this ninja world, besides him and the dead Madara, there is actually someone who combined the power of Senju and Uchiha. Obito has always believed that only he, the chosen one, has the ability to bring about changes in the ninja world. Now, this idea is somewhat shaken. He tried his best to take a deep breath, trying to calm down his mind, but because of Yizing's words, his defenses were completely broken. Obito, when Lin died in front of you, you were powerless, right? Hearing that Yi Xing actually said his name, Obito's pupils quivered in disbelief. How is it possible? Who are you? Orochimaru was also confused. According to his information, the identity of the masked man should be Uchiha Madara. Obito, he remembered that among the disciples of the fourth Hokage Namikaze Minato, one died in the operation of blowing up the Kanabi Bridge, and it seemed that this was the name. Could it be that the boy is not dead? Orochimaru's curiosity was completely aroused. Obito, Yi Xing shouted with a smile, and the surrounding black barriers were untied. He took out a document from his pocket and threw it in front of Obito. Let's see. Obito picked up the document carefully, opened it, and found that it was the content record of the village's high-level mission for the Kana Bridge mission. After seeing one of them, his heart felt like a stormy sea. In order to ensure the success of the mission, Uchiha Obito, Hitaki Kakashi, and Nohara Rin will sneak around the Kanabi Bridge with Kanai engraved with the Flying Thunder God formula. The sacrifice of all three of them is not important, as long as they can provide coordinate points for Namikaze Minato, it is considered as the completion of the task. In this mission, the victim, Uchiha Obito. Mission Result. Success. For so many years, Joshi has always had doubts in his heart. Why was the critical task of blowing up the Kanabi Bridge not given to those elite Jonin, but to the three members of the Minato class at the time? And why, my own teacher, Namikaze Minato, would suddenly use Flying Thunder God to teleport here? Flying Thunder God can only sense the coordinates of Kanai, but cannot detect the specific situation of the holder. It is impossible for Minato to know that they are in danger, so they must not have come to the rescue. All the mysteries in that mission have been answered at this moment. Back then, Obito, Lin, and Kakashi were just a death squad. The task assigned to them by the village was never to blow up the Kanabi Bridge, but to approach it with the Kanai of the Flying Thunder God, and finally Namikaze Minato would finish it off. This, Obito took a deep breath for a while, then suddenly regained his composure, threw the document aside like throwing trash, and said indifferently. These things don't make any sense. The entire ninja world is a false existence. Whether you want to call me Obito or Uchiha Madara, I am nobody and I don't want to be anyone. It doesn't matter if I live or not. Having said that, 
Obito looked at Yi Sheng and Orochimaru coldly. The reason is that the false world created by you group of ninjas needs to come to an end. At the same time, Tian Dao Pain slowly landed beside Obito. And behind him, followed by five people who also had Rinnegan and wore red cloud black robes. Yi Sheng, I can't let you kill him. Now Nagato still needs the power of this masked man to complete his plan to deter the ninja world. As for the other party's identity, it doesn't matter at all. Pen Six Paths Yi Xing looked at Pain Six Paths on the opposite side, and chuckled lightly. It's really difficult to deal with the two of you at the same time. Tian Dao's face was full of indifference, and he said in a deep voice. In that case, you can leave. To his surprise, Yi Xing nodded and smiled. Can, it's just that there are two things to take away. Having said that, Yi Xing slowly formed a few seals and said in a low voice. Impure world reincarnation. Looking at the coffin rising from the ground, Orochimaru frowned slightly. According to the information he obtained from Danzo, most of the first generation cells stored in Konoha village should have been destroyed in the explosion. Last time, the first Hokage unearthed by Yi Xing had about 70% of his strength during his lifetime, so the consumption must be quite a lot. Do you want to repeat the old trick this time? Or is it someone else who came out of the filth? Orochimaru went on and on in his mind. Sarutobi Hirazan has no bones left, so it must not be dirty. The soul of Namikaze Minato is sealed in Shinigami's stomach, and it cannot meet the conditions for summoning. In that case, is it second Hokage, Senju Tobarama? It's not that Orochimaru looks down on Tobarama, it's just that in this level of battle, the iron-blooded politician second Hokage shouldn't be of much help. Under the watchful eyes of several people, the raised coffin slowly opened. To Orochimaru's surprise, the one who walked out was a cute and cute girl with short hair and two purple marks on her face. Who is this? He searched carefully in his mind, but he couldn't think of any dead strong man who looked like this young girl. When Obito saw the girl, he froze and muttered to himself. Lin, Nohara Rin looked around in confusion, showing that cute expression that Obito was very familiar with, and said doubtfully. Where is this? Obito panted heavily, the curse mark on his heart seemed to be aching again. He grabbed the clothes on his chest, muttered to himself with a look of extreme pain. No, Lin's life should not die, so the dead Lin is also false. Yi Xing walked to Nohara Lin's side, pointed at Obito wearing a mask, and smiled. That's Obito. Ah, Nohara Rin was stunned for a moment, then ran to Obito, showing a sweet smile, and said in that familiar gentle tone. Obito, so you didn't die, and you've already grown so tall, you should be Hokage now, right? Me, Obito tried his best to convince himself that he wanted to regard Nohara Rin in front of him as a fake. But the familiar face, the gentle tone, and the kind of encouragement to him, how could it be fake? Lin, at this moment, Yi Xing suddenly appeared behind Obito, and took away the Mangekyo and the Uchiha Uchiha fan with lightning speed. The spell of flying thunder god never disappears. The flying thunder god technique that Namikaze Minato left on Obito back then played a role at this moment. Got it. Yi Xing looked at Obito who covered his right eye with an unbelievable expression on his face, chuckled and shook his head. It seems that you still can't do it, cut off the fetters. Impure World Reincarnation Solution Seeing Nohara Rin's body turn into a cloud of dust, Obito gritted his teeth and said. Zhao Wu Yi Xing. Okay, stop shouting, I'm leaving. Yi Xing smiled and waved at him, and in a flash, he appeared beside Terumi Mei, grabbed her by the shoulder, and said in a low voice. This can be regarded as repaying your last favor. After that, he cast Flying Thunder God and disappeared with Terumi Mei. As for Orochimaru, he slipped faster than anyone else and was long gone. Terumi Mei just felt a flash in front of her eyes, and she actually appeared in Konoha village. She froze for a moment, then looked at Yi Xing beside her, and said anxiously. Let me go back, our missed shinobi ninjas are still there. Let you go back, to die. Hearing Yi Xing's words, Terumi Mei was a little overwhelmed. All the members of the Akatsuki organization, plus the two Jinchuriki of Iwagakur, and Onoki who has the power of dust escape, have indeed reached the crushing power. Even if she went back, it would be in vain. Thinking of this, Terumi Mei grabbed Yi Xing's hand and begged bitterly. Then can you, send all our ninjas from Miss Shinobi. 
Yi Xing shook his head without hesitation for half a second. Do you know how much it consumes to bring dozens of people from Rain Shinobi to Konoha? Even tailed beasts don't have such a huge amount of chakra. Tarumi Mei gritted her silver teeth lightly, knowing that Yi Xing was telling the truth. Namikaze Minato, who was famous for his flying thunder god back then, had to bring people with him if he wanted to carry out this kind of long-distance teleportation. Yi Xing had a big battle with Killer Bee in the morning, and used Flying Thunder God five times, which is already unbelievably powerful. Turumi Mei also knew that her own request was beyond the reach of others. Besides, Yi Xing was able to rescue this mazukage of her, it is already the best of humanity. She could only grit her silver teeth and said bitterly, Iwagakur, I will make you pay in blood. 